the amateur choral life of our country was really flourishing in the second half of the 19th century and many great works had been written for our choruses and Elgar found that he could get experience by offering to write a piece for a choral society. Now out of that experience of course very soon after the Enigma Variations came his great masterpiece The Dream of Gerontius. What remains lovely on many levels about the Enigma Variations is that Elgar was fundamentally self-taught that his knowledge and understanding of the orchestra that is so obvious in this work was actually something that he did through his own determination. He grew through the fact that he wanted to be able to write great works for orchestra. And he did it by observing, by going to other people's rehearsals, studying people's scores. Another aspect of the work that is not so often spoken about is the fact that the last variation, which is the finale, is about him. It's about his determination to succeed. And the title is EDU, the initials, which was his wife's nickname for him. And the role that his wife played in supporting him and building him up and encouraging him and cajoling him into not giving up and having courage to write better and better is a very important part of his story. And his wife played a very important role in his development. So her music in the piece returns in the finale like his companion, as does the music for his great friend, the publisher, Jaeger, who died so young and did so much to establish Elgar as a primary force in our musical life. But what, what is strange is that the finale used, was originally a good deal shorter. It ended rather peremptorily with a sort of fanfare, a sort of signing off gesture. And actually, it was his publisher, Jaeger, who went on and on and on at him for weeks, telling him that he misjudged the finale, that he could do it better, that it was too short, that he needed to think about it again. And Elgar poo-pooed it for, for days and said, no, 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 you're completely wrong. It's absolutely fine. We'll leave it alone. And Jaeger had this sixth sense, and we should all be very grateful to him, because if you hear that original finale, with its very short ending, you'll think, oh, that's surprising. It's a bit brisk, that. It's a bit brusque, in fact. And actually, the, his revision of it turns the finale into a much, much better final moment of the whole work. And it makes a real climax. And it allows Elgar, this is the important part, I think, to establish his, the music that is associated with him, the original theme, to have splendid optimism, which of course was great because he became, very soon after that work, our most significant composer. <laughs>